Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem quickly. We have 1 over 2 to the power of x equal to 2 minus 2 to the power of x. Now, I want us to rearrange this. 1 over 2 to the power of x. This comes here to become plus 2 to the power of x equal to 2. Now, what I have done is bringing the terms with x together, okay? And by the way, looking at this, you discover that we can actually express this to be in the form of this, right? So I will turn this around now, and if I do, I will have 2 over 1, but the power will turn to negative power. So we have negative x, then plus 2 to the power of x equal to 2. Now, 2 over 1 is the same thing as 2. So, 2 to the power of negative x now, plus 2 to the power of x, is now equal to what? 2. But I want us to do something right away. Um, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of x, to the power of negative 1, plus 2 to the power of x, equal to 2. Now, let a letter represent 2 to the power of x. So, y now should be 2 to the power of x. So, here we have y to the power of negative 1 plus y equal to 2. I hope you are following this. And y to the power of negative 1 is the same as 1 over y, then plus y is equal to 2. Now, let's, let's clear out the fraction, right? So if we do, we're going to have um, 1, because y will cancel itself from here, plus here we have y squared equal to y times 2, that will be 2y. Now, arrange this better. So we have y squared, this comes out to become negative 2y, then plus 1, equal to 0. So now we have a quadratic equation. Okay, and I wouldn't want us to be thinking of how to factorize this. I just want us to use formula method right away. So according to the formula now, our a will be will be 1, our b is minus 2, and then c is 1. And the formula is y. Why am I using y? I'm using y because y is the unknown in the quadratic equation. So y will be equal to minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac and the whole of this is over 2a. Now substitute so that y will be equal to minus minus 2, b is minus 2, then plus or minus square root of minus 2 squared minus 4 times a is 1 and c is also 1. Now the whole of this will be over 2 times 1. Okay, now this means that y is equal to negative negative will give positive 2 then plus or minus. In here we have 4 minus 4. And the whole of this is over 2. Okay. Now this means that y is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of 0. Then we have 2 underneath. And by the way, what does this mean? This means that um, um, we are having y to be equal to 2 plus or minus, square root of 0 will be 0 over 2. And what does it mean? Add 0 or subtract 0 is the same thing, right? So this means that y is actually equal to 2 over 2, and our y is 1. Okay, so after solving this, we are having only one value. Okay, we can't even be having one value, right? Now, let me do this in, two way, in another way, because this is quadratic. We are expected to have two solutions, right? Now, now let's let's keep going. We have that y 
is equal to 2 plus 0 over 2 okay that's what that's what I have or 2 minus 0 over 2 okay so let's continue okay so y is equal to 2 plus 0 over 2 or 2 minus 0 over 2 and our y will now be 2 over 2 or 2 over 2 so y is equal to 1 or 1 okay in other words y is equal to 1 twice okay now trust me we were not looking for the value of y we're looking for the value of x remember when we say that y is equal to 2 to the power of x so this means that 2 to the power of x is now equal to 1 and trust me if 2 to the power of x is equal to 1 then what value of x will be giving us 1 it is 0 because 2 to the power of 0 should be giving us 1 numbers to the power of zero right so we can conclude that our x is actually equal to zero now let's put this back into the equation so we can confirm what we we are having the original equation is one over two to the power of x equal to two minus two to the power of x right now if here is zero if what we have here is zero um, what do we do? That means that we are having 1 over 2 to the power of 0. And now, should this be equal to 2 minus 2 to the power of 0? By looking at this, you'll be thinking the left-hand side and the right-hand side will not be equal. But that's not correct. Because 1 over 2 to the power of 0 is giving us 1. Any number raised to the power of 0 is 1 whether the number is a fraction or decimal number or even a letter so we have this now let's try the other one here we're having two and then two to the power of zero will still give us one and then if you continue with this you will see that one here is equal to one on the other side okay and this means that we have arrived very well so it is good to conclude that our x is actually equal to zero thank you for watching and i would love you to rate this um video over 10 i mean rate my teaching skill over 10 so that i will continue to learn thank you for watching